Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. First day of the Cannes Yacht Festival, and we have the honor to be on board the Sunreef 80 Eco. This is the first sailing Eco. It's actually the first 80 Eco that's out in the marketplace. You're building a power and sail version of this? The rule is that pretty much every model that you see in the range can be turned into an eco version. That means electric propulsion and then composite integrated solar panels. The unique thing about the boat and about the Sun Reef Eco catamarans is that we found a way to integrate those solar cells into the composite. Okay. And you can see that's just flush. Yeah, totally flush. Yes. Okay, with the gel coat and everything. And that's a patented solution. So we're the only ones uh, to do this. It lets you put solar panels pretty much everywhere on your boat. So, okay. And they're also up on the mast. So you can see all the way. So it's a carbon fiber mast there with the, with the solar integrated. One cool thing about those uh, panels is that, uh, of course, is the energy efficiency. That's the first thing. They're also uh, an aesthetic feature. The so solar panels look cool. They're part of the boat's design. You know, someone to just seamlessly integrate them with the color of the hull. Right now you see you've got the black and the navy blue. So a lot of innovation going on in the boat, both from uh, the technology basis as well as from the build quality. We have the same luxury finish that we've come to expect from Sunreef catamarans. It's really a mega cat with the freeboard that you have and the room interior volume. All of the Sunreef 80s have very nice swim platform and they've really taken this to the next step. So what you'll see is it's got this beautiful curved surface here, and it really extends way beyond. It's almost twice as large, or feels twice as large as the previous versions. So this can have a five meter tender on it, but it's way more than that. This is a platform that connects both of the hulls together. So both of the sugar scoops, you can seamlessly transit from one to the other. Note they even did the uh, flush cleats here, so they eliminate any tripping hazard there. And then this would be like a really awesome platform to do some scuba diving from. When it's flush with the main deck, that really extends the whole deck. The next space we're gonna look at today is this awesome aft deck here. Center line, we've got a lovely table. It's a high-low table. It may be a little difficult to see, but this table actually has carbon fiber accents throughout and then the teak on the outside. And you'll notice here at the hard top, we've got a really awesome disco light. This thing is incredible. It changes colors, it lights up the whole boat. It can go to the music as well as the underwater lights all go to the music. On the starboard side, we've got a day bed, which is a really nice area to hang out. In the middle, we do have big storage lockers. And then over here on port, we've got a nice wet bar with cold storage down below. I absolutely love the interior on the boat here. What you're gonna see is we have two U-shaped settees. And really, when you, when you go from the 70 to the 80, like the 70s, they've got the elevated area here that yes. you kind of have that for the cabin, mm -hmm. but with the 80, it's so big. Yeah. The other nice feature that I love on the boat is these windows here are practically floor to ceiling. So as you look out here, they're flush with the decks and then go all the way up. So you have great visibility, 360 visibility in the boat itself. So we got a full playing piano. Yes, <laughs> That's you, know, you, awesome. don't, you don't need to play the piano to, uh, to impress your friends. You just sit here and, uh, and pretend. Yeah. Excellent, so high-low TV and this yes. will pivot for mm -hmm. us as well. And then behind that, since this is a galley down version, we actually have a full wet bar here. You'll notice cold storage over on the port side as well as top side storage. And then there's a wet bar here and your forward helm in industrial terms, this is a HMI, human machine interface, it's programmed specifically for this vessel. So. Yeah. And again, that's one of the features I love on the Sunreef is that they have everything integrated together for your lights, your controllage, your tanking, you know, everything. So what most people don't realize is a boat will actually consume a lot of energy just from the hotel loads, and the main one is the air conditioning. So with the solar panels, it's able to power the DC-powered air conditioning, and with the more efficient gas-based system, it will save on energy. How many staterooms are on here? Uh, in here you have the master and three guests, if, I, uh, if I'm correct, yes. Okay, oh, so cool. One, two, yeah, master and, uh, and three guest cabin. All right, can we check those out real yeah, quick? Yeah, sure, let's have a look at the master. So walking down the starboard companionway, we come back into the master, and this is really awesome. They ordered on this particular boat a full hull side windows. Now, normally people recognize the sunroof by the signature three vertical windows. I didn't realize, but you can order it like this. Your main berth is in a thwartship, practically a king-size bed. There's plenty of storage here. 
This boat actually has a full walk-in closet just forward. And then aft of the bed, we walk into a massive ensuite head. The second of four staterooms is found forward here on the starboard side. One great feature that I've noticed on this boat is we've got American 120 outlets, we've got European 220 outlets, USB and induction charging for your phone. So little details like that set Sunreef apart. Let's head back and take a look at the VIP. Really awesome. Again, it has this lovely, huge hall side window and the hatch that opens. A really nice athwart ship bunk with plenty of storage on the outboard and below. And what makes this the VIP? It also has a full walk-in closet here. So really nice wardrobe area there and an upgrade. Just behind this stateroom, you're gonna notice a very nice appointed ensuite head. Let's check out the galley real quick yep. and then head up to the bridge. So coming down to the galley, we're gonna start in the forward area. And what you're gonna notice, this has a really awesome, cute little nook. This is a great place for the crew to hang out. As well, this is a very functional area to keep radios, any coffee mugs, any little things like that that the crew would want in their nook. The other nice thing that I love is we've got standing washer and dryer here. So this is a great location to get a lot of laundry done in the crew space. Moving forward, what you're gonna notice is we got a lot of light and visibility in here. We got a really impressive range as well as a dishwasher, deep well sink, Again, great visibility, anything that you would need to cater and entertain a large group of people. On the inboard side, you have really great amount of cold storage on this boat. So two full-size fridge freezers are available here. Down in the floor below, you're gonna notice we have a Whirlpool stack deep freeze. All right, let's take a look upstairs and then uh, we'll hit the front deck. Oh, this is cool. I like it already. Among the many things this flybridge also has going on, you're gonna notice over here on starboard, we've got a complete wet bar with a full grill, as well as cold storage, sink, and waste. It's really a beautiful area to barbecue out, hang out with your friends. You can grill out for people that are on the sun deck. It's just an awesome space. Forward of that, we've got two treadmills if you want to get a workout early in the morning. And then the last feature that really sets this boat apart is centerline. We've got some awesome floating furniture, very kind of modern furniture here, very interesting colors, and it's just a super cool lounge area. So obviously the Flybridge has a lot going on, but they've really made a great use of this space. It really feels warm and like a fun boat to be on. Now, when you're underway, you'd move the floating furniture out of the way. And then what you'll notice, you've got power Harkin winches all the way across. And this is really the business end of the boat. So all the running lines come here, and this is where the crew would be sailing the boat from. It's a very nice place to be, and I love the setup. They're not wasting an inch of space on this boat. And then the helm, compared to a traditional mm -hmm. sunreef. There's a camera on top of the mast. That's an overview of the, you can see your boat from, from up, oh, right? Oh, that's cool. And when you do the maneuvers, then you can see uh, where you are exactly. Wrapping up here, we're gonna actually walk around to the forward cockpit area and show you that space. Across the bow here, you're gonna notice we have these two large trampolines, which is standard for the sunreef. And then we got the power furling here. And you've got the large split trampolines as well. And then storage uh, through all these and compartments. Then, yes. Storage Does this have crew on the four peaks? You can also fit this with a, with a, like an additional crew uh, space. Okay. Yes. So one can be kept for storage and the other for crew. Nice. And again, totally customizable however you want. Absolutely. That's awesome. I love how you've got the, uh, the solar even on the, on the brow of the boat here. I got to tell you guys, this is an awesome place to be here in Cannes, France for the Yacht Festival. We're wrapping up a full day of seeing boats and filming on boats. And we are just super excited and so happy that Sunreef allowed us to visit the Sunreef Eco 80. If you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out to the information below. And we wanna thank Sunry for allowing us to film on their boats. A real honor to be here in this environment and on this particular innovative electric boat.